Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katera Godby, and I'm a licensed realtor serving Georgia and South Carolina. Now today we're gonna talk about a few hidden secrets that I want you to know about the Augusta area. Now we know Augusta is the second largest city in the state of Georgia, and even though it's a big city, as I've mentioned before, it has a small town feel. So I wanna give you an inside scoop of what it's like to live in Augusta, Georgia. Let's get into it. things we're going to get into today it's a little bit of history and it's a little bit of actual living here in Augusta uh, today so we know that Augusta has a lot of history to it especially here in the downtown area now fact number one is that Augusta Georgia was actually twice removed the capital of the state of Georgia now many people felt that it was too far east in the state to be the capital and they wanted some a city that was more centered so unfortunately it was removed as the capital and it made a few other changes before the capital actually became Atlanta, Georgia. Now the next interesting fact about Augusta is I've heard several people say, especially if they're from other states um, that are further from the Georgia area, that when they come into Augusta, Augusta has a unique smell and it's not very friendly. Now we do have a lot of factories in our area. We have a paper mill. We also have a meat processing plant. So a lot of those things can get into the air. And if you're not familiar with this area, when you come into this area, I often get, what is that smell? Now, of course, me being a neighbor of Augusta and being here forever, I don't smell anything. But if you've been in Augusta or if you ever come here, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you get that smell. Now the third thing about Augusta is that if you know anything about the South, you know people love to go to church on a Sunday morning. Now here in Augusta, we have very two historical churches located in the area. The first one is Springfield Baptist Church, located right behind me. Now this is the oldest African American church in the United States. Also from this church, Morehouse College was actually originated. Now right down the street near our river walk, we have St. Paul's Episcopal Church, and it is the third oldest Episcopal Church in the United States. Now, number four, Augusta is, is considered the garden city. So with that comes a lot of trees, a lot of flowers. We're called the garden city because we have a lot of private gardens. Unlike big cities, we just have a lot of greenery. Now in the springtime, for you, that might be a headache. If you're not accustomed to a lot of pollen, a lot of dust during the springtime, we have a lot of people who allergies go out of control with all of the springtime pollen that we have in the area. So if you're looking to move to Augusta, you know that you're prone to have allergies during the springtime, make sure you have your allergy medication ready. Now, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe and like button so you know every time I drop a new video. Now, getting into number six. Number six is about our local newspaper, the Augusta Chronicle. Now, if you're like me, of course I get all of my news from social media or digital outlets, but my grandmother, she still likes to read a newspaper. The Augusta Chronicle is the second oldest newspaper in the United States. It's still in print today. It's won several awards to include the Pulitzer Prize for Public Service back in 1997. Number seven, Augusta is the hometown of many stars. So we have a lot of nationally known actors, stars, NFL players that were born right here in Augusta, Georgia. Just to name a few, we have, of course, the legendary James Brown. We have national opera singer, Jesse Norman. We have WWE wrestler, Hulk Hogan, we have NFL star Dion Grant, we have uh, national actor Lawrence Fishburne, and actress Danielle Brooks. Those people were all started here, right in Augusta, Georgia. Now for point number eight, 
Even though Augusta is considered the second largest city in Georgia, we only have one shopping mall. I know that's terrible. So if you want to help me petition for them to build us another mall, leave me a comment down below. But in addition to the mall, we do have a few small vintage shops, small local shops or small businesses where you can do some shopping. So if you're a big shopper, just know you may have to do a lot of online shopping, but don't let that worry you too much because we are doing a lot of developing and bringing new things to the city. So I'm sure a new shopping mall is somewhere in our near future. Now, number nine, we're going to talk a little bit about public transportation, because I know if you're coming from a big city and you're coming to Augusta, you're probably used to um, subway stations or taxis, things like that. We do have a few taxis in the area. We do have a public bus system, but it only has a limited amount of routes and stops, and it does not go all over the area. So it's only in the Richmond County area where we have the public buses. If you're in Columbia County or any other area outside of that, they don't have a public bus system. So you actually do need a personal vehicle to live in the Augusta area. It doesn't take long to get from point to point but you would need a personal vehicle or you would have to Uber around to different areas. And our final thing is going to be number 10, and that is the Georgia-Carolina rivalry. So here in Augusta, once the football season begins, right at the first weekend of September, we have what we call Border Bash. That is when Georgia, University of Georgia, plays the South Carolina Gamecocks in the college. We have a huge thing downtown. We do a lot of bar hopping. Everyone wears all their college gear. We also have with the schools, our local schools here, the high schools, they actually have a border bash for the high school uh, players, which is a Georgia, South Carolina uh, game as well. So it's very serious here. You have to pick a side. Either you will be for Georgia or you will be for South Carolina. All right, so that concludes this video. Let me know down below what fact did you like the most? What's most interesting to you? If you know anything about any of the facts that I mentioned, also leave me a comment down below. Again, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell and the like button so you know every time I drop my new video. Until next time, I'll see you soon.